Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farm, and I'm pretty excited today because I think I'm going to show you an affordable option for high-speed internet available in rural areas. And I know for a lot of us, like I live in a rural part of Kansas, there is no high-speed internet option around here. I've signed up for multiple providers and tested them and done everything I could do to try to get high-speed internet out here, and we're currently getting very poor results. It takes me eight hours to upload a video after I downgrade the quality of the video so that I'm able to upload it at all. It still takes, you know, six, eight, ten hours to upload a video. And that's a real hassle for me, and I know that whatever you've got going on, you'd probably like to have high-speed internet too. And in this case, it looks like it's going to save me some money. Now, all that is assuming that it actually works. So, first thing I want to do is go in the house and show you the speed test on the internet service we have right now. And actually, the very first thing I want to do is shout out Kelly's Country Life. Andrew Kelly from the channel, The Kelly's Country Life, is a friend of mine. We've talked quite a bit, and I was just scrolling through YouTube one day, saw his video on Starlink alternatives, and Starlink's not even an option here, but I found Andrew's videos, and he's using the exact service that I'm testing out today, and he did like four or five videos on it. He went through all the process to find out the best providers and the best companies to use, and that's the same company I'm testing with today. Now, I've actually contacted them and said, hey, I'm going to buy your service, but I would like to show multiple options from you guys because their company has several different options, and they agreed to send me the initial equipment that you need because you need a router, and you don't have to have it, but it helps if you get an external antenna. So they've sent me a couple routers and a couple of external antennas that we're going to be testing out. So let's go in the house and we'll do speed test on my existing internet that I pay about $100 a month for and a speed test on our cellular internet. So outside, I know I mentioned that this is like an alternative to your traditional internet service providers. And it's an alternative to Starlink, but I don't think I really said what this is. What this is is cellular internet with a high-end cellular router. This is a high-quality router, just like you know what you would buy for your regular internet service. But what you're running it on is cellular service. So it's a little bit, it seems on the surface, similar to buying a, like a cellular hotspot and just putting out internet off of your cellular device. But it's really not, because those hotspots don't put out the type of broad range Wi-Fi that you get on a good quality router, and they don't receive that quality of service, and you really don't want to use your cellular internet off your cellular plan. With these, I don't understand how it works, but the company I'm using, which is called NetBuddy, sets you up with an unlimited internet plan for between 50 and $80 a month, depending on which service provider you use, for unlimited internet. I mean, you can't beat that anywhere. And what really takes it to the next level is having a high quality antenna that you can put on your roof and then run down to this router. So first things first though, let's just establish what internet service am I getting now? All right, so I'm opening up speedtest.net. I'm pretty close to my router, which is just on the other side of this wall, but I've got the window open right next to it, so we should be getting good signal out here. I don't want to go in the house. The grandkids are playing, and I wouldn't be able to record. So we're connected to Whisper. We are going to do three speed tests. See what we get because it can vary, right? Even testing a minute apart, you can get different results. We are paying 
Once again, I signed up for multiple services. I had multiple internet services active at the same time and I was comparing them. And then I canceled both of those and went to a third one that I have now. And then I contacted them and asked them, if, is there any way I can get a better service? I even offered to pay for a direct business line to be run out here. And they said I couldn't do that. So we're getting 21 download and three upload. 21 lets me watch video. Maybe I'm watching a football game in the house through a streaming service and the kids are doing something. We're both buffering and frustrated with each other. And that upload speed means that I have to upload lower quality videos. Because if I wanted to upload 4K, it would take me about three days to upload a 15 minute video. I'm getting worse results on test number two. I'll let it finish here. Test number two, 17 upload and a little less than three upload. 17 download, a little less than three upload. We'll do a third test. Right there, I got nine on the download and two on the upload. I'm gonna almost disregard that one. I test this all the time lately and I normally get between 15 and 20 download and about four, maybe as much as five upload. I wanna say about 18 and four is normal. Now I'm gonna connect my phone and this will be just like using a Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay, so now we are on AT&T Wireless with this speed test. Connecting, we got 38 download. And the upload is completely unusable. So you'd think, well, downloading at 38, that's not bad. Let it finish here. Download at 38, upload at 0 0.32. Which means if I wanted to upload this YouTube video via my hotspot, it would take me about two weeks. But let's run that test two more times. To speed this video up, I'll just summarize after three tests. Hotspot test number two, 29 and 1.3. Yeah, I wanted to do more live streams and 4K video and things like that, and I just can't because our internet's too slow. So download speed matters to everyone. Upload speed really matters to me. And 32 and 0.7. Unusable. So now we're going to plug in this router so what we have is these four antennas receive signal and these four antennas broadcast signal. And you only need this. You don't have to have an external antenna. But we're going to test the external antenna. So to do that, we unscrew these four antennas right here. Then we, in the place of those antennas, we attach these cables that are hooked to our external antenna. Okay, so that I can test this before running the wires, I've just brought the router up here, got the antenna mounted on this old TV antenna pole, faced in the general direction that seemed to be the best. Let's see what we get. All right, so for me personally, this is awesome. This speed is still not much better than I was getting before, but this is almost triple, and this one really matters to me. So, we're going to re-aim the antenna and see what we get. Okay, 15 and 11. I'm going to aim it that way a little bit, more towards Baxter. So with the nature of an external antenna like this, I spent half an hour running a 100 speed test because I would change the angle of it five degrees and test it a couple more times and just keep changing that angle 
until we got the best result that would repeat itself with a good result. And these numbers may not seem drastically different than the ones I was showing in the house, but if you really look at it, we were averaging between 15 and 20 megabytes per second download speed, and I'm getting over twice that right now. We were averaging three to five upload speed, and I'm getting close to three times that. So I would say I'm getting twice as fast on my internet service, and this is gonna cost me 20 to $30 less per month than I previously had. So, pretty good improvement. I will have a follow-up video after I do a lot more testing with this, but for now, I'm putting links in the description to order the same products I'm using, and there'll also be a discount code so you guys can save a little money. 15, 30 and 15. Okay, so I think we've found the best spot to aim this. 30 and 15 is by far the best internet I've ever got since we've lived here. It's gonna make it what I do a lot easier. And there's still some more options I have. There's another type of antenna that they're sending me to test. I have a second router, we can try Verizon, but it's getting dark and Honestly, to do this well with multiple antennas and multiple routers and three different service providers, I'm going to have to spend an entire day just testing this. So we'll end up with a follow-up video where I see what works best for me. I experiment with different options. And probably even once I have the best option, see how much it varies throughout the day. Is it good in the mornings and terrible in the evenings and just test it all out? But those are the numbers I was hoping to get. But I honestly think I'm gonna visit with uh, Andrew Kelly from Kelly's Country Life and the people who make these products and see if we can do better because Andrew's pulling even a lot better numbers than this. So I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.